the PSVR 2 release window has an infographic showing all the games showing up in the PSVR 2 release window, a vague time frame that could mean anywhere from a few weeks to a full year after the VR headset hits shelves. With around 40 games, it's quite an impressive list. I know because I've played them all. PSVR 2 will feature major titles including Horizon Call of the Mountain, The Dark Pictures, Switchback and VR conversions of Resident Evil Village and Gran Turismo 7, but all other games coming to PSVR 2 will be available soon. Quest 2 is also available on other platforms or has been for some time. This list contains some incredible games that are coming to PS5. Demio is a D&D-like tabletop experience that puts you in the same room as your friends, Jurassic World, Aftermath is a creepy stealth adventure game, and Pistol Whip is an FPS rhythm game that lets you hone your sharpshooting skills, you're really training your body, and Zenith, The Last City is an exciting MMORPG that's probably the closest you'll get to the metaverse. They're all great VR games, but you don't need PSVR 2 to play them. PSVR 2 retails for $550 or bundled with Horizon for $599. You can't use PSVR 2 without a PSVR PS5, which is another $500. You'll also need a nice TV for PS5, preferably with HDR capabilities, but that means you already own one. $1,050 is the minimum investment for PSVR 2 without games. Meanwhile, the Quest 2 costs just $400 and you won't need a second console or monitor. Even with the unfortunate price increase last year, the Quest 2 is still a third of the price of the PSVR 2. Quest 2 also offers thousands of games, including almost every game released on PSVR 2. The benefits of the PSVR 2 lie in performance. Sony headphones have an OLED panel with a screen resolution of 2 Kelvin and a refresh rate of 120 Hz per second. I meanwhile, Quest 2's resolution is slightly lower than 1080p at 120 Hz, even though most Quest 2 games don't use high refresh rates. Quest 2's relatively low resolution contributed to its much maligned screen door effect, which occurs when players can perceive the space between pixels. Quest 2's images are often blurry, which is especially noticeable when trying to read text. PSVR 2 has a higher resolution for sharper images and a more immersive experience. For those of us who already use VR, the extra investment may be worth it. Those on the fence about VR, or those already put off by the original PSVR's lackluster library, likely won't see it that way. The challenge in selling VR is that it's highly visual. You can't get VR from screenshots or trailers, you have to experience it yourself. PSVR 2 launched with a small selection of games, but hopes to attract people with its impressive specifications. Unless you can sit someone down and show them the difference between PSVR 2 and Quest 2 in real life, it's going to be a hard sell. Quest is cheaper, more accessible, fully portable and has a bigger library than PSVR 2. PSVR 2 has Sony branding and better hardware. I don't know if that's enough to justify such a huge price, especially when Sony hasn't even gotten around to loading the PS5 with a strong library yet. PSVR 2 needs more than Horizon and a lot of ports to justify the cost. Thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and support my channel.